Once again, a standing ovation for Henry Aaron. So the confrontation for the second time. Aaron walked in the second inning. He means the tying run at the plate now. So we'll see what Downing does. One ball and no strikes. Aaron waiting. The outfield deep and straight away. Fastball is a high drive into deep left center field. Buckner goes back to the fence. It is gone. What a marvelous moment for baseball. What a marvelous moment for Atlanta and the state of Georgia. What a marvelous moment for the country and the world. A black man is getting a standing ovation in the deep south for breaking a record of an all-time baseball idol. And it is a great moment for all of us, and particularly for Henry Aaron. He was the voice of summer, describing the national pastime in words so fluid and colorful they seem to be woven into a quilt of baseball dreams. And every day, Vin Scully reworked that fabric into yet another brilliant design that no one had yet heard. Vincent Edward Scully was born November 29, 1927 in the Bronx, New York. And he knew from a young age that he wanted to broadcast sports. A year after graduating from Fordham University, where he played on the baseball team and also called basketball, baseball, and football games for the college radio station, Scully landed a dream job as a radio broadcaster for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Two and two to Harvey Keene, one strike away. Sandy into his windup. Here's the pitch. Swung out and missed a perfect game. From the moment he signed on the air in 1950 through the next seven decades, Scully remained the narrator for the Dodgers' story. He called the legendary 1955 World Series that saw Brooklyn capture its elusive World Series crown, moved with the team to Los Angeles in 1958, and established himself as the game's most recognizable voice. Scully's talent took him to the national level, where he worked for CBS on pro football and golf from 1975 through 1982, and then NBC for the network's Baseball Game of the Week from 1983 through 1989. He called many memorable moments for NBC, including the Mets' thrilling rally in Game 6 of the 1986 World Series and Kirk Gibson's improbable home run in the Fall Classic two years later. All year long, they look to him to light the fire. the demands until he was physically unable to start tonight. High fly ball into right field. She is gone! With a soothing style that perfectly matched baseball's rhythm, Vin Scully transcended the medium and the game throughout a career that made him one of baseball's most beloved figures. Vin Scully was named the sixth winner of the Hall of Fame's Ford C. Frick Award in 1982. I have said enough for a lifetime, and for the last time, I wish you all a very pleasant good afternoon.